and gentlemen, this fight is in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner with three wins and one loss. Fighting out of Striking Unlimited, Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is Lee Henry Lilly. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner with three wins and three losses. Fighting out of Tap Out, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Joey. Of the action. At the Orleans in Las Vegas, this is the Tough Enough Fighting Championship. Excellent fight here in the Tough Enough 170 pound division. You got Lee Henry Lilly wearing the black trunks, Joey Angelo, he's wearing the white and the black. Both of these guys are sluggers, they love to stand toe to toe punch it out. Interesting to see who's going to come out on top in this one. Lily will generally mix in some very powerful kicks as well. Sometimes leaves himself open to a counter with him. Yeah, it's real strong hands. Real strong hands. He gets in that pocket and keep him up. Angela with a nice little flash and high kick there. Yeah, like we said, the, uh, the base of Angelo is his boxing, but we see some very nice kicks coming out of Angelo these days. Tell he's really committed to being a mixed martial artist now. He has the MMA gloves tattooed on his back. <laughs> Lee Henry Lilly wearing the black trunks. Joey Angelo in the white and the black. So far, Angelo pretty busy with his feet. Yeah, Lilly being very patient right now as a stock. Does have a nice outside leg kick there. So who's going to be the first one to let the ego go and shoot him for a takedown? <laughs> I'd be surprised. Yep. I, I would be surprised too, but if it was one or the other, I, I would have to say that Lee Henry Lilly would be the one to shoot into the takedown. Joey Angelo looks very crisp. Impressed with his movement. Nice little Superman over the top. Lilly threw a couple big left hands in there inside as they as they broke. This is the composure I'm talking about, you know, the difference between an amateur fighter and, and someone who's on the bound to going professional. You know, look at these guys right now. Yeah, and I, I like how Lee Henry Lilly has the, the composure to know to throw those couple of strikes as they're breaking. You know, great spot to sneak. Oh, man, Angelo with a big head kick. And Lee Henry Lilly with a nice takedown. <laughs> hey, you called it, man. You definitely called it. You went for it first. And something that we've seen from Lee Henry Lilly as of late is that he's doing a really nice job mixing it up, you know? He, he's known as a striker, first round of coming to a close, but he's doing such a good job mixing in a really high level. You know, the takedowns are so well-timed, and then when he gets his opponent to the ground, he knows that's not where he's best, but he does a very effective job of maneuvering and staying out of trouble. And the ground and pound, if Lee Henry Lilly starts to tee off on you, you're in big trouble. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a pretty close round, though. How do you see this one, John? I have to give it to Lily. You like Lily with the action at the end? Yeah, I just, just from the, uh, the takedown, he ended on top. Hey, I, I, I could just see the judges giving up. You see Angelo there like busy Angelo. enough early on? I, I think yeah. Angelo did a lot, a lot early. Um, and again, and Lily didn't stay in that position for very long, didn't really capitalize on it, did get the takedown. Well, there's a couple of nice punches in there, but really kind of a toss-up to me. Yeah, uh, it, it could go either way. It could. And we do know judges value takedowns, that's uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. Round number two, Lee Henry Lilly is wearing the black trunks. Joey Angelo is wearing the white and the black. Outside leg kick there from Lee Henry Lilly. Very close first round. I'm going to set those leg kicks up with your hands. And you see that uh, that boxing background of Angelo just kind of always pawing away with that jab. Lee Henry Lilly's hands a bit more static at this point. Nice high kicks from Angelo. Nice outside leg kick there. Lee Henry Lilly. Lilly just patiently stalking, looking to unload those heavy hands. There, there's some. You know, Lee Henry Lilly, oh boy, big flying knee there from Angelo. He ends up slipping. You see what Lee Henry Lilly ends up doing with it. Good. <laughs> nice balance by Lilly on top. Oh, watch the triangle. Watch the triangle, yeah. yeah. Didn't feel it quite in time, couldn't pull away. He's 
pull that head down and sense it up. Angelo, 50 seconds left in this round. Still has control, He's throwing a couple punches as well. Good job by Lily bringing the hand back in. Good posture, beautiful. Forty seconds here in the second round. Angelo was in trouble, then Lily was in trouble. Back and forth action for sure. Really good action. Oh, I wanted to come in with the axe kid. Just 19 seconds left here in this second round. Ticking down now beneath 15 seconds. Very close round. Yeah, really, uh, another flurry at the end could seal it. And this is another really close round. Nice, great takedown. Yeah, and that, that's another one of those things that is just key to being ready to go professional is understanding not just how to get the appropriate takedown, but exactly when to get the takedown. You know? Yeah, you're coming right to the end of the round. You're aware of how long you're left in the round. Get the takedown, final seconds. You know it's been a close round. Make a statement, leave an impression on the judges. Yeah. Oh, wow, this is Rico Santana behind me. Right here, uh, oh, wow. That's another shout out for our guys. Oh, oh, good, man. Both fight going into round three. I, I, I like we hit her Lily in that round, not by much. Yeah. So, I mean, really? I think the late takedown was, that yeah. was definitely helpful. I definitely have to get out of the Lily, though. Yeah, I, I do too. So I've got this thing even, but it could easily be two rounds and not Lily right now. Or heck, it could even be two rounds and not Angela. Let's be honest. It's we don't really know. very Let's close. See who makes the bigger mark in the third round. Third and final round. Both of these guys are scrappers, and both of them come to fight. Expect an exciting close to this one. Yeah, Lily's been very patient. We'd love to see him open up a little bit in the third round. Nice. nice take -down. Well timed again. Yeah, Swarming a bit. Right into those. It's you know it's good to see that uh, that a striker's mixing it up and you know, he's, ta he's taking his amateur career and using it what, for, you know for what he needs. You do, need to experiment with all your weaknesses in there. Yeah, and it really looks like he's progressed to the point yeah, where it's not even a weakness anymore. Exa you know? Exactly. That's that's what it's, you know. Sharpen his skills before. a lot. Exactly. It's cool to watch these guys evolve, man, because you can you can see it every time. Every fight gets better and better. It's funny yeah. to watch how they progressed over the years, you know, just yeah. kind of be going there and throw haymakers now. So calculated. Yeah, both these guys, veterans of the biggest scene. So we've gotten an opportunity to see it all. Still a minute remaining in this too. fight, very close. This final 60 seconds could really determine the winner. Really Angelo bad. driving forward. Look, he caught him a little bit. Yeah, you got one right hand in right at the end, a little front kick. That's points. He's got to watch on chasing him, though. Yeah, every time he chases him, he gets taken down. Yeah. And Lily can yeah. counter punch, too, man. Outside leg kick there. Oh, big right hand. Oh, oh he stunned him. He rocked him right there. He's rocked. He needs to take his shots now. So you have to get rocked. It's kind of crazy. Well, he's clearing his eyes out. I, man, I, I don't know. I, you don't want to run into anything and just walk into a counter, but he looked like he had him hurt pretty bad. Credit to Angelo, recovered very quickly, shook it off. Just 10 seconds left here in this final round. And Angelo turns it on now. Lee Henry answers back. Not one to sit there and take it. Final seconds, one on one action. Oh, man. <laughs> what a great finish right there. Exciting stuff. I think Joey Angelo was really rocked against the ropes there. Yeah. I would hate to be a judge. Very tough. All three rounds were To me, the difference in that third round is that, is that Angelo was absolutely rocked up against the ropes. I think that was the most significant offense of the round. To, to what was pretty much even up to that point. So I've got Lily taking round three. I've got Lily up two rounds to one. That's really close. Like you said, it's just it's tough to call this one, you know? That's a real close call right there. Big right hand there, that's the one that stunned him, and then he did a nice job with the second right. That, that was the moment that Angelo looked like he was really light. His legs were very soft. Lee Henry came in, and as opposed to putting him away, gave him a little bit of breathing room and decided to see how it played out. Let's see what the judges think.
three round slugfest, we have your winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner, Lee Henry Lilly. Very exciting fight, Lee Henry Lilly walking away with a victory tonight here at the Tough Enough Fighting Championship. We're coming back to Vegas and the Orleans Hotel and Casino for more. Every Saturday night at 10.30 p.m. on Vegas TV, Tough Enough brings you the future stars of MMA. Watch as the country's top amateur fighters from the best gyms prove if they're tough enough. Every Saturday night at 10.30 p.m. on Vegas TV.